mother liked piano. Every time we go to somebody's house to write a piano, my mother would she touched, she liked the sound of piano. So so I she I I, I asked my mother, I said, well, can you buy me a piano? So she had a beauty shop. So my piano went in the beauty shop. That was the biggest room in there. So people would get hair done. And after I, I had a uh, R and B band, and we play, we rehearsed it, and uh, People would thunder the dryer. You know, you know, they just, you know, she loved music. I think my mother was a great mother, Mama son. Great mother. <laughs> always in my mind yes. because he was my major, a major teacher for me, you know, and uh, I loved him like big brother. He was like family, we were like family, you know, and I was, and Elvin treated me, and, you know, he, he, he always wanted, are you okay? You know, you know if anybody mess with you, you tell me. Elvin was like my bodyguard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and uh, John was like a uh, spiritual leader, you know. And uh, so I had a good friends in my company. John was always seeking something. He was always looking for something new. Huh? So he, he said, don't worry about changes. You play what you hear and I play. So a lot of people say that's freedom, freedom playing, freedom style. And, but it actually, it, it's also nice because in a way, you know, he, I opened my ears. He would go someplace and say, oh, I have to put some color in his, in, underneath. Same thing with Elvin. He would hear something and play a rhythm or something. So it, it's, a, it's a nice thing. I think, I think it helps develop your sensitivity to sound into ideas. I think it came from God. We, 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 he is the master creator of everything. So I, I think it, I was get, given a mission to do, and not just me, many people, Charlie Parker, John Cook, Miles David, you know, giving a, giving a special thing to talk to and, and con, uh, talk to, to uh, the public, you know. Some people who had difficult problems and they would say, oh, I listened to your, your, your records and it helped me. You know, so music can be very helpful to people, I think, you know. Well, I believe in the Almighty, I think. He, 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 could, he created everything. Us, animals, trees, everything. So, you know, that's it. I'm not very spiritual. I just acknowledge what's here already. And everything has a purpose. You know, we have a purpose. The animals have a purpose. The trees give us the oxygen, and the plants. Everything has a reason. You know, the ocean. You know, so I think uh, I think we're in pretty good shape. You know, we have to control ourselves sometimes. You know, but uh, but that's okay. That's the way it is. <laughs> we can't control everything ourselves all the time. Maybe sometimes, but sometimes. Yeah. 
singer has got a lot of work, you know, so usually around Philadelphia, maybe in some other cities too, and the musicians get a chance to play, especially rhythm section, with singers, you know, because I worked with a lot of singers when I was in Philadelphia. So but it's good because they know a lot of songs, you know, so you learn these songs, you know, you have to learn them in order to accompany them, you know. So it's a, it's a great idea, I think, to work with singers sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes. So music is a vehicle of expression. So I don't, know, I don't think you can separate yourself from how you feel, you know? And, uh, and I, I love that fact. You know, I've grown a lot from being an artist, you know. I think it has helped me so much, you know. Not only made me friends with people I've never met, but I got to know more about myself, you know. My friend, me. <laughs> That's the number one. <laughs> if you are sincere about what you're doing, because sometimes people look up at the musicians, you know, like, oh, I'm going to play music. It's good, it's good for the spirit. But it then doesn't just come from the person, it's a vehicle. Like a car, you drive the car. You're not a car, but you drive, you need the car to take you somewhere. And the same thing with music. Music is, takes you somewhere, you know. And, and music has taken me in many, many countries, like China, Japan, South America, Africa. You know, so if it wasn't for music, I, I don't know if I would be traveling this to those countries. <laughs> I, 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 let, I, I, I let that happen, you know, I, I don't, a lot of times, I don't think too far ahead. I, I, I think it, uh, it will happen, the next project. It might be from somebody I meet, or it might be just a person, you know, or a situation, you know. And uh, I just let it, whatever happens, I may do something, if I do something with horns, I may do something with strings, violins, I may do something else different thing, big band, or I like to mix up, up the concept. So it sounds different. So people who buy my records, they hear something different. Maybe vocalists, you know, like with Johnny Hunker. Well, I think we were going through a tremendous uh, situation. Civil rights, a lot, of people, a lot of great civil rights leaders, and Martin Luther King, and a lot of people. So I think that uh, people are looking for a way to express themselves and to enjoy life, you know. Not everything difficult, you know. So uh, I think that, uh, I think that uh, the music has helped a lot. And it's always been a, a music of expression, self-expression, and then from its creation. People dance, or they go to a dance, they dance with jazz, or they hear a good, great band, and they want to, you know, and it brings happiness to their spirit, you know. That very spiritual music, I think, you know. Well, it has influenced American society uh, very, very much, you know. And uh, the music is uh, it's considered American music, and it's great, you know. It has to stop someplace, you know. And uh, I think it has helped uh, people a lot, you know. And uh, for African Americans, Americans as well, people from all over the world. You know, I come to Japan, China, different places, Thailand, everywhere. Yeah, so if people, they can hear maybe Americana in the music, you know, 
because we had a lot of great American composers too, and musicians. <laughs> it has a lot of time to do with people uh, who want to make money, only money. <laughs> so everything has to sell, you know? I mean, it's a unique American idea, you know, jazz. You know, it's been around a long time. From blues, jazz, rock and roll, I mean, it all is an American concept, you know. And uh, I think that uh, a lot of our exception, uh, exception for the music comes from foreign countries, from China, Japan, different countries, I mean, you know, Africa. I've been a wonderful tour I went to Africa, South Africa, you know, now in China, and then different countries, Japan. I've been to Japan 72 times. 72 times to Japan. Yeah. So, you know, I'm waiting for it next time. <laughs> <laughs> relation with my Chinese and my family. You know, one son, my Japanese, and then one son, Chinese. Tui, Tui is my, my she's uh, my uh, daughter-in-law. She married my son, Tui. I, I, I love it because it, it gives us some place else to go besides play. I play, I live in New York, so there's a lot of play. I play in New York a lot. You know, many, uh, the Vanguard and many other jazz clubs there, you know. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I, I, I love to, I love to perform in, in, uh, in the States because, uh, as well, because they, they have so much to, to choose from, different kind of music. So we, we have a younger generation that uh, coming up and some of the older generation that love the music. So very think of <laughs> <laughs> dream? Uh, well, I, I don't know exactly. It comes to me, it will come to me. I want to, I like to keep, continue uh, uh, writing music and performing music. And I think that's important. It gives me a mission in life, something, a reason to be alive.